What's going on? Please. All right. Welcome to potentially the most beautiful Pokemon card YouTube video I, Mimic Brew, have ever produced. Why am I saying that? Because 2023, y'all, was an incredible year. An absolutely incredible year for Pokemon cards. Yeah, it actually was. Believe it or not. So here's what I'm talking about. If you were a sealed investor, a sealed flipper, an LGS, blah, 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 doing the sealed stuff, it was a terrible year. It was the worst year ever. 2023 was dog shit, okay? But if you're like me, if you, if you like, you know, if you're a raw guy or a graded guy and you like to pick up your singles locally or on the internet, um, it was an amazing year. And here's what I'm talking about, guys. Just think about this. Think about this for a sec. In the year 2023, the Pokemon company released Crown Zenith, Pokemon 151, Paldea Evolved, and Paradox Rift. So, people who know what they're talking about are obsessed or don't know what they're talking about. That's the best part about Pokemon 151. You could have been out for 20 years and you're like, oh, I love this set. Or you could have been in for 20 straight years and you still love this set. Crown Zenith, that's like everyone's secret favorite set. They either want to admit it, and they do admit it, and they talk about it all the time, like me, like, oh my god, Crown Zenith, right? Or it's like, they just don't want to admit it, or it's their second favorite. So, Crown Zenith, Pokemon 151, they both came out in 2023. Those are top-tier, S-tier, banger sets. Now, Paldea Evolved, and Paradox Rift. Over time, more and more and more people are going to realize... That they liked that set more than they thought, or it's a better set more than, you know, than they realized. And I've said it a million times in previous videos for the Scarlet and Violet hack to know what, if a Scarlet and Violet set is going to be good, all you got to do is look at the set size. If it's a big set, it's going to be banger set, okay? That's how simple Scarlet and Violet is. Obsidian Flame sucks, it's a tiny set. Base sets, mid, it's a medium sized set. Paldea was an incredible set, probably the best of the main sets. But then Paradox Rift, a very similar, almost exact same size set, came out with even more playable cards. With even more kind of abstract, cool, future and ancient Pokemon. And right here and now, if you were to do a little research, you would see that Paldea Involved and Paradox Rift have some of the most valuable modern Pokemon cards that were released in the last year, in 2023. So, for 2023, if you like raw and grading and just singles, between Crown Zenith, all those glaring galleries, between Pokemon 151, all that nostalgia, from Paradox Rift, all that just badass future shit, and then uh, Paldea, just that wholesome, jungly, haha, <laughs> yay, and Quaxly, Fui Coco, and, and uh, the other one, whatever. So those guys, it was actually an incredible year. Like 2023 was a banger year. So what I did was I made a top 10 list, okay? Just a quick little top 10 of my favorite cards released in that amazing year. So that's five sets that I'm drawing from. Don't think I'll include any promos, no. So we're just doing mainline sets, top 10, and here's the thing. This really is a top 10, absolutely. I promise you it's a top 10. Except on some of the slots, I might have like I couldn't choose, so I did the exact same type of card. Point is, there's 15 cards on this list, but it's still a top 10. Trust me. All right. You watch my channel. You know, anytime I record a YouTube video the same exact day that I go out and buy a bunch of minty raw singles, I show you guys those singles. Okay? So real quick, before we get into my top 10, I'm going to show you the stuff I just bought out in, my, out in the wild out in my local area i'm going to show you that stuff right now all right so real quick the mew promo right there from the upc amazing oh my gosh and then we got a whole bunch of pokemon 151 that i needed for my master set so we got that tangle we got that switch we got we just got a lot of a really cheap um you know well not so cheap i mean i got them for a good price but you can see I left the price tags on all the cards that actually had price tags. Uh, the ones that didn't, I just switched the sleeves into brand new sleeves. That Garchomp is freaking amazing. I accidentally bought that Masha. Looks like I forgot that I already had it. Nest Ball, oh my. So now we're getting to some Paldea stuff. Some Paldea I needed for that master set. 
if you haven't seen my one of my recent YouTube videos, the cool thing in 2024 is master setting. It's not grading and flipping. It's not being a, you know, Jim and Ten Dog or Investor Bro. The new cool thing is to actually like Pokemon cards and actually like completing master sets. So anyway, that's what I got uh, right there. And then so let's get into the actual top ten. My favorite cards from 2023. Number 10, number 10 on my list, here we go, is that beautiful Full Art Charizard EX from Pokemon 151, and it's a tie. Roaring Moon EX from Paradox Rift. When 151 came out, and then also into Paradox Rift, Pokemon started taking uh, Full Art seriously, and so yeah, Full Arts are cool now. And full arts are actually uh, worth sometimes a lot of money now. So that that ain't true in Sword and Shield. I'm sorry. There are so many cool perks to this this Scarlet and Violet era that weren't even possible in Sword and Shield. And again, Scarlet and Violet. As more and more time goes by, more you are gonna realize this actually is a really good era. Cool trainer Ryan, shut the hell up. Scarlet and Violet's freaking awesome. All right, let's go to number nine. So number nine on our list of my favorite cards is Mariadon. The Mariadon EX SIR from Base Set. And guess what, guys? We got another tie. It's also Coriadon EX. Both those cards are so cool in their own way. Coriadon in the jungle, the Mariadon in the city. You got the city, you, you, you got the jungle. Both of those cards are just equally absolutely amazing. So, you know, it is what it is. That's my number nine coolest most favorite card from 2023 okay so now let's go to number eight number eight guys is erica's invitation full art not the sir the full art and miriam sir this one is the sir from base set so erica full art from 151 and miriam sir from base set that right there, those two are my number eight favorite card from 2023. Yeah, I can do what I want to my channel. I could have I could have 50 in my top 10. I make up the rules. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, so now let's go to number seven. Mimic Brew's seventh favorite banger from 2023. And that is Mew GG GG what is it Mew GG something from uh, Crown Zenith was it like 11 12 14 I don't, I don't know it doesn't matter point is this this and the Lapras I think are like the two best from the GG yellow borders um, yeah obviously I got a lot of them as you can see I got the Japanese the V-Star universe in 10 I got a whole bunch of English ones uh, yeah I don't know what else to say Crown Zenith is an amazing set that Mew card is an amazing card it is what it is that's my number seven all right, let's get to my number six. I'm sorry I'm being so weird. I Maybe I should drink more coffee? Uh, or less coffee, who cares? Number six is Skeledurge. Skeledurge. So Skeledurge EX from da -da 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 -da, Paldea. I love SIRs or illustration rares that take a whole bunch of colors, right? And there's a ton of colors, ton of pastels, and somehow it just works. The texture, the colors, the light, the mints, the reds, the pinks, the yellows. This Skeledurge SIR is so underrated. It just is. It just is. It's the same color pattern, whatever, as that Mew UPC flying through the street with the, the flags, you know, in the UPC. It's, it's got that vibe where it has those beautiful colors. And yeah, no one apparently cares about Skeledurge, but that Skeledurge is the coolest, most beautiful card. The texture is amazing. It looks even better in Japanese. It is what it is. And I have no problem at all having Skeledurge SIR, EX SIR, from Palea as my number six, like, favorite card from 2023. And again, guys, all these cards are so freaking affordable right now. Like, oh my god. All right, so let's get to number five, my fifth favorite, the top five. Here we go, some gold cards. This one right here, Garchomp EX from Paradox Rift. Those teeth, those eyes, that gold, that shine. And then Chin Pao! Chin Pao is so freaking cool, so playable, so instantly a fan favorite in the TCG and the little online game. 
like everyone loves it and guess what hyper rares are cool i don't care what you think i really like hyper rares hyper rares are rare hyper rares are hard to get unless you're talking about like obsidian flames or whatever it is what it is but yeah so guard chomp and chin pal right number four so now we're gonna get into some illustration rares so here's the thing about illustration rares guys illustration rares every single one of them every single one from every single set is an absolute banger right Ugh, sorry i don't know why i did that okay so we got bangers across the board in every set like there's so many freaking there's like 200 illustration rare bangers that came out in the last year okay so you can't go wrong with like any one you choose unless you choose Paldean Whooper. That card is ugly as shit. That Paldean Whooper. Other than that, like, these cards are nice. So, in, in my opinion, you know, it's not about the Pokemon. It's just about the art with these. The Gloom IR from Obsidian Flames. I absolutely love that. But then water, any water illustration in this Veluza from Paradox Rift. I don't know why. I just freaking love the card. I don't give a crap about Veluza, but I love that freaking card. Steelix is one of my favorite Pokemon. See him doing work on a construction site. I absolutely love that. So I absolutely love these three. But again, any illustration rares, you, you can't really go wrong, right? So like, my three are Gloom, Veluza, and Steelix. But yeah, they're all good. Okay. So now, guys, we are into the top three. Kind of a big deal, right? Top three from a whole year. Well, well, here we go. Let's do it. Number three. Leafeon. V-Star from Crown Zenith. This, oh, yep, there's another one. So I got two of them. I'm going to switch those out. I'm going to grade the one in the binder, and then I'm going to crack the one that's a nine and put it in the binder, because I think the one that's currently in the binder is a Gemma 10. Who cares, anyway? I freaking love this card. This card is so good. I mean, everything from Crown Zenith is so good, but the Leafeon just hits a little different for me. Um, I, God, look at that set. I absolutely love Crown Zenith so much. That 18-page spread right there is probably the most beautiful 18-page spread in Pokemon history in a Master Set binder. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, number two. Number two, how do you do? Going back to 151, it's that Alakazam. Welcome back, buddy. So Alakazam EX, this is just, I don't know, this, this Aptos is pretty cool too. Uh, but I, I, I don't know, I really, really like this Alakazam EX. Unfortunately, I pulled a really nice one. Uh, yeah, it's just like a kid playing in his room practicing his skills, you know. He's, he's, he's got superpowers and he's, 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 he's just giving it a go, you know. In the safety of his bedroom, or wherever he is, I don't know what that is. Anyway, it's a beautiful card. Um, very happy Alakazam, Kadabra, all that. Very happy they're all back and good to go. Okay, so now... Our number one, my number one favorite card from 2023. I had so much trouble pulling this card, and I actually just pulled it two days ago in 2024. But who cares? Like, God, I, I smile. I literally, I just smile just thinking about this card, dude. All right, so a number one is... Roaring Moon EX SIR from Paradox Rift with a bunch of Scream Tails going flying. Hold on for your butts, Scream Tails. Some other stuff too. But yeah, this card, you know, I really like the Iron Valiant a lot too because of that Transformers Decepticon vibe. But Roaring Moon EX, it's just hands down my single favorite card from 2023. I don't know, and I'm so happy. I God, I'm so happy I actually pulled it, and I didn't have to go out and buy it. Um, there's actually a funny story I won't tell about how just pure coincidence I bought the pack that had the Roaring Moon in it. I should not have even bought the pack. Just pure luck. Anyway, so there you go. So there it is. There's my top 10 favorite cards of 2023. I am, real quick, I am going to give you my favorite promo which I'll throw that up on the screen and just make a little video of it. Shoo. And that is the Mew, the Mew from the UPC. It's a darn shame that it was thrown in the UPC and not left in the set. But my God, that promo is my favorite promo from 2023 of all the promos, the Mew EX from the UPC flying through there into pink sunset. But other than that, yeah. So Roaring Moon, amazing. Alakazam, pretty much everything from Crown Zenith, amazing. But my favorite's the Leafeon. But yeah, so there's 15, I guess, plus the promo, 16 cards. 
These are 16 beautiful cards. I think the most expensive one on the whole list is the Roaring Moon at like 80 or 90 bucks. But yeah, anyway guys, I think 2023 was a fantastic, an absolute banger year for Pokemon singles, for raw. Not sealed, not graded, not for the investor bros, but for people like me, I have had the most just fun time master setting all these sets. Anyway guys, like, comment, subscribe. Seriously, hit that subscribe button. I am so close to 1,000 subs. I've literally already maxed out the hour requirements to get monetized, which usually it's the other way. Like, you guys watch a ton of my YouTube videos. I get a ton of views for someone with, you know, that just started, you know, whatever. But I do technically, I technically do need to hit 1,000 subs to start making that Skrilla. Because, um, yeah, I already have all the other requirements blown away. I am a smaller content creator, so any giveaways that I do, you actually have a very, very good chance of winning the giveaway, as opposed to like a CTR or a Poker Rev giveaway. You have no chance of winning. Um, but I also give away really good shit. So anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you, Bruce, for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Deuces!